when you look at national point standings, we've had some drivers running really well, but not only here, but at some of the other tracks, and that's why they find themselves towards the top of national point standings. Steve Hawkins looking to pick up a big win tonight. Let's we'll see how he does here. He's your pole setter coming down for the green. Ready to head back. Going green.
got some traffic here in front of him. Can Hawkins maybe be the beneficiary of some lap traffic? Heyman handles it pretty well to the inside of Sasser, and yes, third win of the year. Hawkins finishes second, McLaren comes home third, Jack Fry fourth, Steve Holler is fifth, just about how they are in their point standings. You know, with the modifieds and the super stocks, there's always that moment there after you get down to the track where you wait on the driver to come back after rolling over the scales. And sometimes it takes just a tick longer than others, and you start to wonder. But then, there we go, the number 37, Jason Heyman in victory lane for the third time this year. Congratulations. Thank you. That was a hard one right there. I screwed up big time and jumped a cushion, hoping I didn't wad the nose under and just, I thought when I done it, I really screwed, screwed up bad. So uh, I'm not sure how bad it is, but we got lucky and stand here. Steve put on a good race. <laughs> so yeah, you're like, well, I guess it happens that way sometimes, right? So you're, you're like, oh, that was not maybe my best race, but it was still a successful race. Well, when we got those lap cars, I knew it was gonna, I seen he kind of married himself to the bottom and they was right in the middle. And I thought, well, I'm gonna try to thread the needle and go up top. And the uh, first time I done it, I. Went in too hard, jumped a cushion, and like I said, I thought it was over from there. So, but uh, we was going to definitely try, I guarantee it. So, was this one of those nights where you were really good and managed to bring it back, or were you just a little bit lucky? I don't know. Uh, <laughs> probably maybe a little lucky, maybe a little good. We changed a bunch of stuff this week, which we've not done in two years. We've not got off our basic program, and we're way off of it now. And uh, I think we was better. So, it's definitely these guys right here is the reason that we're standing here, Scott and Pranger and Loki. Scott works his butt off on this thing every single day except for Wednesday. So anybody wants a race car, get ready to work because it is a full-time job. Ask him. I don't get to do much because he lets me take and spend time with my family and I, I thank him so much for that. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. So uh, here we are tonight at the, the Josh Burt Memorial. You know, it's a, it's a night where, uh, you know, we do celebrate that love of racing and the families that bring us here to the racetrack. So uh, thank you for saying that about your crew and being able to spend time with your family. That that means a lot to us here this evening. Yeah, I got the pleasure of racing Josh whenever uh, we, he was in a super stock. We raced a little bit. Didn't know him well, but uh, well, I, did, I do remember racing him, yeah. So is it easier, back to your comment that you made before, is it easier to get off what you call your basic racing program when you're being successful and you're like, ah, you know, we're doing pretty good. We'll, we'll try and experiment a few things. Or is it easier to say, ah, this isn't the kind of year we wanted now, no, and is it easier to try things when it, things aren't going your way? Well, I can tell you we're probably the happiest person to come here and run second or anywhere as far as that goes. We, I mean, second don't really make me mad. So I'm just as happy to run second as I am to win because when you run second, you get to... You get you get money and you get come back next week and we're a very under budgeted race team and we do well with what we have. You certainly do. This is three on the season right here for you. So you're building quite the resume for yourself here this year. Well, thanks. And I could not do none of this without Jason Ayers trucking, uh, Tyler Kane. I burned his phone up again once again this week, uh, and he's the one that had us change all this stuff. So uh, definitely made it better. So I can't forget Tyler Bluebird Cafe. Uh, Hartley Trucking, uh, JEH, Jan Tuttle, Travis Kern Race Engines, and I cannot forget Peter Hall, Curtis, and Darla Kaiser. So uh, I got to thank every one of those along with my guys over there. You do a great job of taking care of those sponsors, and especially these guys over there. I know they do a great job of taking care of you as well. So congratulations on another victory here. All right, thank you. And, uh, you know, it makes my job look easier when them guys, them guys right there need to be recognize more than me. I just get the glory of standing here and I mean that's like the least I got to drive tonight. I didn't really drive that hard because they're doing such a wonderful job. You didn't, I mean I just kind of held on and, and held to the floor so there it was. Well we're glad that you all did your jobs tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, how about another nice round of applause for Jason Heyman, our victor here tonight in the Super Stocks and an extra loud round of applause for his crew standing over here who Jason says would they would not make it to the track without them.